Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer this one. Here is about the diagram to illustrate about this one. We know that the outside of the circle in here that is about higher energy orbit. And the small circle in here that is about the small, the smaller energy orbit. So, if from the higher to the lower, so because they go to the lower energy, they will emission about the wavelength in here. So, if we, we, they want to go from the lower to the higher, they will absorption the energy from the wavelength so that they can go from the lower to the higher. So based on the question, we can see that we have A, C, and D. They go from lower to the higher. That's about absorption. So I will put about A, C, and D going here. About emission. So from the higher to the lower, so because they go to the lower energy, so they don't need to a lot of energy in here, so they will go to efficient. So in this one, that is about B, E, and F. After we arrange in this way, now we need to arrange based on the energy and the wavelength. So I will show you the formula in here. So we have E N equals to negative two point one seven six multiplied by ten to the power of negative eighteen over n square. And this one, the unit, that is about joules in here. This is about the energy. So, we want to find the lowest energy to the highest energy in here. So, in this one, we need to select about, we have B, E, F. So, B, we can see that they go from number 6 to number 1. So we have E number 6 minus E number 1. That means we have this number in here. We divide by 6 to the power of number 2 minus negative 2.176 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 18 over 1 square. So we calculate this one and we have 2.1156 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 18. And that is about true of in here. Now we go similar for E and F. So this is about number 5 to number 3 and number 4 to number 1. So based on the information we just calculate in here so we can see that this one that is about maximum this one that is about minimum when we calculate the numbers in here so in this one we can put this one that is about b this one that is about e and this one that is about f now we can do similar for a c d based on this one in here. However, we have the second formula in here.
So this one, that is about Planck constant. So if we have higher energy, that means we have higher frequency and smaller the wavelength. So the question they want to know about increase the wavelength in here. So that means the longest wavelength, the smallest energy, the shortest wavelength, the higher energy in here. So in this one, we calculate A, C, D. So about 8, that should be from number 2 to number 5. The next one, we have C, that is from number 3 to number 6. And the last one, from number 1 to number 5. So if we calculate, so we have like this. However, we have the negative sign in here because this is about absorption. So in this case, we can cancel the negative in here. But when we compare the energy in here, we need to know that we can ignore the negative side because this is about absorption. So for this one, that is about maximum energy of absorption in here. And this one, that is about minimum energy of absorption. So, so maximum energy shorted wavelength. So D that should be in here. And this one, this is about minimum of energy, and that is about the longest wavelength. So that should be about C. And this one should be about A. And this is the technique how to answer this question in step by step. This is the end. Thank you for watching.